There's something that divides Wyoming ungulate herds. The choice between hoofing it to summer range or laying low on winter range. Because summer ranges are hit with the bulk of rain and snow, they often have better food than winter range. With all you can eat, it's hard to resist the temptation to migrate, which explains why migrants outnumber residents in most ungulate herds. For example, nearly 90% of Wyoming's mule deer are migratory. But for some herds of elk in Northwest Wyoming, the scales are tilting towards residency. Why? Because of the irrigation of nearby agricultural fields during years of severe drought, winter ranges have held better food than summer ranges. Residency also means safety from the dangers of migrating into Yellowstone National Park, where risk of predation by wolves and grizzly bears is higher. For some animals, neither migration nor residency fit the bill. Some are nomads, like this pronghorn. Nomads also move long distances, but in ways that seem unpredictable or flip-flop between seasons. Nomadism is common among Wyoming herds, likely because many live in sagebrush basins, where moisture and plant health are as hard to predict as the animals themselves. Though ungulates may be divided by strategies, it's clear they're all united in surviving the harshness of western landscapes.